Whoever has the wisdom of God and practices that wisdom is going to take the lead. There should be nothing that should be of greater advantage to the believer than a problem. Problems are what you and I have been sent here to solve. And I'm telling you right now, the only reason why the church is not in the front is because the church has not been walking in the wisdom of God. Say amen. But I decree those days are over. That came here to let you know God has a plan. Life is now with your main for the people. And I want you to start saying, I'm going to you have a solution to every problem. What stood out for me was wisdom. I think we fall into the trap of seeking what the world is seeking. But if we seek his wisdom, we tend to do things differently. Every time I hear him speak, it's always an absolute message in season. And that intent means, again, not to stay what we are, but it means that, that the Holy Spirit cannot mismanage our lives. Thy kingdom come, yes. thy will be done yes. in this entire area of Africa yes. as it is in heaven. Yes. In Jesus' name. Jesus name. Somebody shout amen. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. God has big plans for Zambia. This nation is blessed. And I'm telling you that whatever is needed in this nation, God will supply it. I'm saying right now, there is a prophetic destiny for this nation and you will not miss it. God is about to manifest the blessing in this nation. We gave them a hope and a future. And all of a sudden they saw that they were valued. They were worth something. And let me tell you, that school was kind of the beginning of a concept called the Joseph Business School. These leaders are being trained to be able to not follow the world system, but to follow the system of our Heavenly Father. And to develop kingdom principles to know that it's not by might, nor by power, but by my spirit, save the Lord.